when you need a amplifier that can work very very properly on very very low uh, output levels and then I mean with uh, loudspeakers in a living room I have made in the past this uh, amplifier and perhaps uh, I'm going to show it but on the other hand I uh, found in the past that I always had a uh, kind of problems with uh, reproducing uh, music of the 1960s, 1970s etc etc because they are all copyrighted and well that's a quite good thing I'm also say uh, thinking about that I also don't want in a certain way that my circuits are copyrighted though on the other hand I'm completely free about it and I have a YouTube channel this YouTube channel and I know uh, that on the world wide web my circuits will be republished anyway so I will give a kind of demonstration for say 10 seconds or so to show how good this amplifier works it was on YouTube and I will give the link in the text box in the description um, in fact I have made <coughs> here uh, an audio amplifier with say a capacitive voltage divider that amplifies the low frequencies very very substantially and we all know uh, <laughs> out of the past 1950s 1960s 1970s the so-called loudness circuit and that has everything to do <coughs> with say uh, how the sound of loudspeakers for instance here uh, is received by the human ear the human ear is in general uh, most sensitive to frequencies around uh, 1 kilo cycles up to approximately 3 kilo cycles and that is say the typical um, telephone sound also in smartphones and telephone um, uh, transmissions uh, there is a very substantial limiting of the audio frequency band all frequencies uh, uh, beneath approximately uh, uh, say uh, 800 Hertz are cut off and also all frequencies uh, going higher than approximately 6 kilo cycles <coughs> are cut off so that the uh, audio sound the telephone sound say when you speak to someone via your smartphone or whatever um, is made maximum intelligible so uh, perhaps a uh, only a demonstration of this audio amp in this audio amp I have tried to make uh, the low frequencies better intelligible so that you can use this uh, audio amplifier when you want to play music on a very very low output level in your room that's say the complete idea anyway let me try to give uh, the audio now perhaps so that was all perhaps you heard that the sound was uh, say pure and at the same time there was a kind of rich sound I cannot demonstrate it further 
because I am surely going to get a copyright claim uh, from YouTube and Google when I uh, say want to demonstrate it further. So anyway, here are all the knobs here and uh, there is a complete schematic and video about this amplifier on my YouTube channel and I will give the link in the description. So uh, could be that this uh, video will be removed from YouTube because, uh, because of copyright issues but anyway take your time and when you want to make such a audio amplifier that gives a quite say good sound and then I mean a rich sound in your living room you can make this amplifier thanks for watching schematics and more in the description of this text box. The text box uh, regarding to this video. Thanks.